Hi folks, in this episode of um, Christ Technical Drawing for SS Secondary Schools, I'll be teaching you how to draw an octagon using a 45 degree set square when given the length of side. So in this case, what you are going to do is, when given the length of the side, the first thing you draw one side AB. So let's draw one of the side AB. Now this method of construction, it is used when you want to draw um, a, um, a polygon without making use of any other method. So making use of your set squares and all the rest. So now let's assume the side is 3 centimeters. Yeah. So let's call this A, B. Wow, 3 centimeters A, B. The next step is to draw a line from A and B in turn at 45 degree and mark off the length of side to give point C and D. So now I will put the ruler below this line, leaving some space. Then I will place the set square above it. And now I'll draw a 45 degree line. So let me draw a 45 degree line to B. So drawing the first one. 45 degree. And then I will also draw a 45 degree line at A. So it is going to um the line is going to bend outwards. So now in this case I can also extend the ruler since the set square is pass surpassing its length. Yes. So now I can draw the 45 degree line at A. Now the next thing is when you draw the 45 degree line, you cut out your your the length of the side of the polygon. In this case, our octagon has a side of 3 cm. So I'll go from from 2 to 5 with a span of 3. Then I'll cut those um, projected lines. So now the next part is um you do that same thing, you um, draw a line from C and D in turn perpendicular to A and B. So you draw a line from C and D perpendicular to A and B. So all you need to do is put your ruler again at A and B. Now in this case, I guess I'll have to reduce this line. It looks longer than intended. So let's have it here instead. So this is C and D. So I'm having I'm, I'm having some extensions. So we have C and D. So when you want to draw perpendiculars, draw put your ruler just below A and B, and then slide your set square along the ruler. So when it gets to point C, you draw a perpendicular. When it gets to point D, you draw another perpendicular. Now when you draw the perpendicular, you also cut cut off the um, the length of the side of the polygon which is an octagon in this case now after doing that the next thing is you draw a line from e and f now these are e and f respectively e and f we draw a line from e and f in turn at 45 degree so but in this case what we are going to do is we are going to draw the 45 degree angles inside because this is a, this is a closed figure so we are going to um, so we we'll still use the same method but in this case we will draw inwards from e we we'll also draw inwards from F and then we we'll cut off the length once more on either side on both E and F. Then the final stage is to join each of these points. Let's call this G and H. So when we join them all the points together, we'll get an octagon. They can join me. Drawing joining the parallel ones together first. So I use this method to save time. You join the parallel sides. Now this is the octagon.